What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed on this episode. Top 5 Harbor Freight Tools for Commercial Electricians. Um, it is only top 5 because there is only 5 things in that entire store that are worth a shit for a commercial electrician. Uh, happy Friday to y'all. I got my Terrapin beer. No, not just because it's got the turtle on there. Because it is Terrapin. Hopsecutioner. A good, good IPA. I thought it was appropriate to put it in the uh, Donatello koozie today. So, I was going through my tool bag and realized that I have a couple of Harbor Freight things in there. And that there's exactly five. And I've searched that entire store. And there is only five things in that entire store that's worth a shit in a commercial tool bag. So I'm going to show I'm going to share them with you now and and tell you my positive experience with all these. First up, if you're uh, working with any kind of conduit bigger than 1 inch, you're going to need a file to deburr the edges. That's all you do. As a commercial electrician or that's in my case anyway, that's all you do with a file is just deburr pipe so that the the burrs and the rough edges don't or, or couldn't possibly cut into the conductor. That's where this comes in handy. This was $4, I believe, and I've had it for five years, and it's kicked ass the whole time. That's all I do. If you're some kind of metal worker, this file's probably going to be uh, a piece of shit to you. But for just deburring conduit, this file gets the job done. Also, this file has something to do with number two on the list. This big ass, uh, not that big, but pretty big, big beater flathead. A big beater flathead can be your best friend doing commercial electrical work, especially if you're, you're um, say, you're knocking out a brick or two or some, uh, some cinder block or something that you need to mount, you need to recess it into a block wall. You're going to go hard at the middle of it with a cold chisel, but to fine-tune it, this is going to just be delicate enough uh, and, but tough enough that you can fine-tune your hole with it. Uh, <laughs> We all want a nicely fine-tuned hole. And uh, this thing has taken a good bit of abuse. I didn't even buy this, and I didn't even know this was a Pittsburgh screwdriver until I actually saw it in the store. And to compare it, that's that's your average flathead Klein right there. And this is just a big beast of a screwdriver. And if you need to wail on something, or you, or you even have a big flathead fastener that you need to tighten down, this thing works awesome. Occasionally, I do have to take the piece of shit Harbor Freight file and clean the end up a little bit but I've only really in four or five years I've only had to do that a couple times with the screwdriver it is actually pretty damn tough um, any kind of big big flathead fastener this does the job sometimes uh, larger breakers uh, oddball brand breakers they won't have like a hex lug they'll have just a big ass flathead and uh, I don't have any other big ass flathead to, to actually turn screws I don't use this just for chiseling um, this this is a do-all so you pair these two together, you got a you got a screwdriver for life. It only takes a couple minutes to tune it up with the uh it's in pretty good shape right now. And I'm telling you, I have put I have given this thing a workout and it's been very surprising. And the handle, this is not intended for um not really intended for beating on. It's not a striking cap screwdriver, but you know, you don't need to go buy the DeWalt or Milwaukee or Klein, the kind with the metal cap. This <laughs> I've I've beat on this thing pretty good and it's held up. I, I really uh, I've really expected this thing to fail long ago, but it's it's still kicking ass. Um, what else we got here? We got these these unibits or step bits. Uh, when, if you look at the price or the cost per use, I do believe that these beat the fifty sixty dollar unibits, the Milwaukee, the Greenlee, the Kleins, because it's not like these go dull the first use. These will stay really sharp. If you take decent care of them, these can last you a couple years. And on top of that, the, the beauty of it is that this comes in a two-pack set. I've since lost or broken the other one. But um, I don't actually think it's in the house somewhere. This one goes up to trade size one inch, which actual size is one and three eighths. So that'll put a one inch knockout in something. Um, these are great, so you got a you you knocked out something to a half inch, um, and it doesn't include a, a one inch knockout, and uh, now you need to make it bigger. So really, your only option is this because you can't use a hole saw on it or a knockout. 
set, which is heavy and a pain in the ass when you can just run this into a three quarter inch hole and make it bigger. Um, it, it, it has many, many uses. Sometimes maybe this is all you got. For whatever reason, this is all you got and you can make a half, three quarter or one inch hole with just this one piece. They are not as strong as the high dollar ones. Those are made of slightly or maybe a lot better metal, but the fact that you don't have to give a shit about this one is, is the beauty of it. And I've actually, because I don't give a shit about it, I've had this for like five years. And it's, it, it just now, the last time I used it, I did start to notice that it's kind of a pain in the ass to use. So it's about, new, it's about time for a new one. But if you've got a $50 or $60 one of these, you know, that's, um, that's a lot of money to be sunk into one little, little thing like this where you're going to be more protective of it. You're not going to want to let someone borrow it or you're going to be... You're not going to want to leave it laying around, whereas this is basically 10 bucks, and yeah, you don't want to lose 10 bucks, but it's not as, it doesn't hurt you as bad as something that's 60 or 70 bucks. So, also these, they, they, this set is a two pack that's 20 bucks that comes with the same thing that like goes up to a half inch. Um, this comes in a three pack set, and um, these have been really handy. Um, for instance, if you have a box, say you have a box that you're trying to mount. And it comes with one or one, two, three, four mounting holes. And you need to mount that box to a block wall. And you drill your holes out. And then you go to screw the thing up. And then no matter what you do, you can't get the thing, the box level. <clears throat> what you can do is take this and knock those quarter inch holes out to three eighths. And maybe you have to use some washers, but then you can wiggle it. You can actually get the thing back into level. Um, that's mainly what I use these little these little ones for and they're they're great. This is You know shit It's like 12 drill bits in one doesn't work the best for everything But these are worth it to have I think the the, the three pack of the small ones I forget what the other size looks like but the three pack of small ones is like 12 bucks Just buy them and throw them in your bag. You'll find a use for them. Trust me uh, What else do we have here? Oh this bit set here this bit set is the shit. Um, as you can see, this is a tamper-proof bit set. A bunch of the shit I've never used. These tri-bladed Phillips head looking things. Never used them. Um, I've seen these before. Uh, elevator equipment and bathroom stalls. like to use these two-pin kind of fasteners. Um, these are like offset kind of Phillips. Four-bladed, but they're kind of offset. You see that? They're kind of weird. The best part about these is the tamper-proof Torx and the tamper-proof Allens. Um, it doesn't have to have the pin in the center of the fastener to use these. So these sort of, I mean, there's no sense in having uh, Allen bits and Torx bits and tamper-proof Allens and tamper-proof Torx because these serve the purpose of both, whether the pin's there or not. And these have saved the day plenty of times, especially the, uh, the, the tamper-proof Torx. Uh, doing any kind of retrofits to uh, fire alarm systems and dealing with tamper and flow valves. Almost all of those have tamper-proof fasteners. Um, certain times breakers, square D breakers, will have tamper-proof fasteners, which it's kind of funny. They're like called, you know, tamper-proof, but you can just buy this stupid little set for five bucks at Harbor Freight. So it's not tamper-proof. It's just like tamper slightly more difficult is what it should be called. But it comes with this little... uh magnetic bit holder too so what i usually do is oh, oh shit all oh, hell's breaking loose is usually when i need to use this i'll just take a 10 and one oh that is not the right size this is a six and one where the hell did i get this well you get the idea <laughs> where this will have a this is five sixteenths on both ends but where this would have a quarter inch stick that in my 10 and one and then put my desired bit in there. Uh, I will say that it doesn't come like this anymore. The first time I bought it, it came with a two piece clamshell kind of thing. And um, I let someone borrow it and they lost it. And they went to replace it and realized that this is all they offer from now on um, is just half of it. So the guy actually bought two sets because they were so cheap. I think they were five bucks. And I think he used a company card, but he bought two sets just so he could get me this other half to close the whole thing up. And he took all the bits out and kept the bits from this set. But this is the way that it came for me. But he couldn't exactly replace this, so he bought two of them so I could have the whole thing. That was very nice of him. Mike. Mike P., thank you, if you see this, which you probably never will. 
Um, and the, lastly is this Drill Master drilling uh, tap set. Here, I have this very, it's not exactly how it comes. Uh, the way that it comes is it, you get an eight, you get a 632, 832, 1024, which I never use, 1032, which is ground screws, uh, 1224 is something I never use, and then quarter 20, which is pretty much one of the standard small fasteners that we need when we're fabricating or building or bolting something together. Um, other, otherwise, we'll use like a 3 8 uh, threaded bolt, but... Um, there's just so much shit you can do with this. Even if you don't think you have a use for this, just get it. It, it I'll tell you what, this is only $12, and it, I would take this any day over the Klein tapping drill bit handle thing. Because that thing, if you're, you got your tap all the way out here, this is a very brittle, hard metal. So any kind of uh, axial force on it, is going to snap. And every uh, half the time I've used those things, they've snapped. You're really trying to crank the tap into the hole. And you and on top of that, you need an existing hole. This just drills and taps it. It's very short, but you will break these and they will go dull, but it's okay because the drill master set's only 12 bucks. As to where it is a copy of this Greenlee set, which I cannot really say is that much better for 35 bucks. Do not get this set. This is half the price and maybe 80% of the quality of this one. So, I mean, do the math. You either buy this once every eight months or you buy something like this once every six months. In, in the long run, it's it's cheaper to buy these. And I've had pretty good success with the, uh, the Drill Master ones. And like I said, you have uh, in... Other than the, the, the 24th size threads, which I don't use, you have uh, 632, which is receptacles and switches... Um, 832, which will be your light fixtures. 1032, which will be ground screws. That's why I put green tape on these two, because these are both 10, 1032. And then the quarter 20, you can do anything with the quarter 20. You have a, a panel, a panel cover with stripped out bolts, you know, and it's got maybe the, the uh, cutler hammer, the really coarse threaded ones, or uh, square D that might use like a 1224. You can... I mean, at least for my, the way, you know, we do things at my work, uh, I can just order some quarter 20 nuts and bolts and, uh, I can thread anything out to quarter 20. I can do anything with it. It just saves a lot of time. And for 12 bucks, it's worth it to throw in your tool bag. And I will tell you that this case is just as shitty as the Greenlee one. I mean, it couldn't be any more identical or of a copy, but they're both, it's not even like the Greenlee one's made with a better plastic. This one's still shitty plastic. So maybe you take them out of this case and put them in with some other drill bits, but this case shatters really easy. So that's it, my uh, my top five and only five Harbor Freight tools for a commercial electrician. You got your, your step bits. I'll never buy a Greenlee or a Klein one or, or a Milwaukee one ever again. Only Harbor Freight, and Harbor Freight got wise to it too, because their heart, their uh, their sets are. They used to be like thirteen bucks for this one and the half inch one. Now they're like twenty, because they're probably one of their best sellers. Um, the tamper proof set. Get yourself a big, big ass screwdriver, big flathead, just to beat the shit out of. You know, you're not gonna care. It's only three bucks, and the file. All you're gonna be doing is deburring pipes, so it's not like you're doing anything fancy. You're just, you're just. Just getting rid of the uh, the sharp edge that could possibly cut into the conductor. I think that's it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Friday after I cut the grass. Um, and then I'm going to enjoy it. And then I'm going to finish the other five uh, other five brothers to this guy. So um, I don't know if I'll be uploading anything else this weekend. It might be till Monday, Tuesday before anything, uh, anything else comes up. But... Uh, if you're not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. I've noticed that uh, my in, in my analytics, you know, the all the data that YouTube gathers for my channel, I noticed the number one searched the number one search term to get to my channel is Mike's Toolshed. So there's a lot of people that know about my channel and are checking up on me, but they're not subscribing, which I don't really even give a shit about anyway. If you're searching me out and finding these videos, awesome. I don't care. I don't even give a shit. I was happy with 300 subscribers. This has just uh, taken off and, and been a lot more successful than I thought it would. So, um, 
I think that's about it. You guys have a good weekend. I know I will. And I will see you Sunday or Monday. Thanks for watching.